So we were aiming to imbue our robots with some of the amazing adaptive powers that we see in nature, like regeneration. We started by trying to copy things we saw from nature, look to nature for inspiration, and then we decided instead, or in addition, to look to nature for materials. So instead of building robots out of traditional parts, like the laptop I'm using right now to talk to you, that are pretty fragile. If you hit it with a hammer or cut it in half, it's done. Instead of using these kinds of materials, we use cells, which have all kinds of amazing properties. When we cut the robots in half that are made of cells, they automatically stitch back up. We have the heart cells, which pulse at a regular beat, and we have the passive skin cells. Computers take these two different cell types and they stick them together in different arrangements, different structures, very much like Minecraft or a child building a structure with Legos. The computer places these different cells in different configurations and structures. And based on the shape and the placement of the heart muscle, these organisms will have different behaviors. So we give the computer these different kinds of biological building blocks, and we also give the computer a goal, such as move as quickly as possible in one direction. And the computer will, will build a structure that runs as fast as possible. We can also give it other goals, like to transport an object, or clean the surface of a Petri dish, or act collectively in a swarm to accomplish some task. Fighting cancer would obviously be a huge goal for us. So right now there's no way to internally ablate brain tumors. But because these robots are built out of, cell, built out of cells, they could be built out of the patient's own cells in the future. And so our bodies would not reject them because they're part of us. And they could be designed and deployed inside of our bodies to seek and destroy microscopic cancer cells. Of course, that's very, very far off from where this technology is now. But the point is that current machines made out of ceramics and metals and plastics would not be able to do this, or at least they wouldn't be able to do it for very long before the body rejects them.